before I turned on the shop light, I thought I'd step in and uh, get some pictures of this furnace working in the low light conditions. Although I think my uh, my flash is on, but you can see the uh, the stove glowing. Hot enough that it's got the door of that stove cherry red. Now I've got a. Uh, Shields along the sides and the backs, but you can still see that that's red as well. And uh, I'm pumping just a little too much oil to her right now. See that black smoke? I'll turn things down and uh, reach that optimum temperature where everything's getting burnt. Um, once it hits what's called gasification, <clears throat> That's 1600 degrees, uh, and I have the oil at the right volume, it will uh, produce nothing but a heat signature. There will not be any exhaust visible except uh, just a heat signature coming up. It's burning all the gas and everything. Last night I burnt coal. I don't dare leave this thing going when I'm not here to attend it other than for perhaps a half hour or something, but last night I filled her up with coal and uh, got it going good and walked away. Wasn't too impressed. Lots of wind though last night to cool the shop off, but everything was dead. Temperature was down this morning in here. And a buttload of ash in there, no surprise. But I stirred it up, threw some gas and oil in there, and uh, let that burn a while, just getting everything warmed up. Turned on the oil control here. This morning that valve goes to my tank here. This tank actually goes out to. Uh, 150 gallon tank, but I've learned that I need this smaller tank here. I got the option of preheating it I can throw gas in water it down so it flows better. You know, I've, I've put a drain down here All the water or antifreeze of course will go to the well, I'm barely hold my hand here. It's so hot um, the water goes down to the low spot and uh, I think my camera's starting to smoke Water goes down to that low pipe which, that pipe there was the low spot and I got a valve. This garden valve on there that I can drain the water and antifreeze out. Works like a settling tank, you know. It also gives me the option to turn off the valve to the big tank and just uh, burning whatever I happen to have handy. You know, it's great for putting in quartz or just small amounts of oil. But it's uh, it's really handy for, like I say, throwing some diesel or gas or whatever one might have. Uh-oh, uh-oh, things are getting out of control. <laughs> ah. It's getting so hot, what's happening is the oil in this tank now is getting thinner, so uh, I've turned that down. That's exactly the reason I can't, uh, just don't dare leave it un unattended. I can turn it down, of course, where it's not, not near this volatile, but uh, it just never, never have a lot of confidence in it. Once it gets hot, of course, you know, the stove, it's 1600 degrees. Maybe, you know, whatever down there, maybe more, but uh, my tank's sitting there right beside it, so the viscosity of that oil is, you know, it's extremely thick when I came out here at, uh, now it's 10 below in the shop this morning, and now it's, I don't know, it's not that warm. Right here beside that tank, though, uh, beside the stove, ooh, yeah, yeah, that side next to the stove is hot. What happens, the oil heats up, viscosity, you know, of course, thins out, and, uh, Boom, now you're getting more oil in the stove. It's feeding itself faster just because, uh, of course, it's thinner and flowing better. And so that cranks it up, and the stove gets hotter, and your tank gets even hotter. Thins your oil out even more, and boom! Shit's fucking getting hot. So, it's just something that has to be attended. That's why the coal at night's gonna be something I'm looking into. I'm gonna put a, uh, uh, like an eight inch stove pipe heading outside behind the stove and I'll have a, a coal bin out there that I can open and let the stove fill full of coal. I buy this two inch and smaller coal. So, uh, getting some funny glow on the camera I see. But anyway, the, the coal will feed in there and uh, I'll make some grates and it'll hopefully, uh, there we go, flash turned off, good deal. Um, yeah, I think it'll burn coal well also. Key with coal is, of course, some air, you know, just like anything, throw some oxygen at it. But uh, my pipe in there that right now is blowing down into my oil chamber, my burn chamber. 
I can turn that 100 degrees, 180 degrees up, you know, so that, that air is blowing straight up, straight up my uh, my oil burner here. So this top half above that door was filled with coal, the air blowing up through there, I think, yeah, I think it'll burn well. But, bottles I just grabbed at the dump free fuel alright that's my oil burner in operation today what is it it's uh it's not too bad it's only like 15 below out there but uh damn windy not as bad as the last few days but it's windy and there's some pretty big gust hit so today's gonna be 